folks, this is Carl with Carl B. Gideon and Gabino Diaz Lawn Care Service. It is Monday, February 22nd. It's about 5.30 p.m. I'm on my way to go look at a yard. They need some bushes pulled out, cut out. So I'm going to go give her an estimate. She had called another lawn care service that my buddy owns. And he is just covered up with work. He cannot take anything on. He's giving me all his new clients that he gets, so that's very helpful to me. So thank you, Dave, from Dave's Lawn Care for that. I'm going to go up here. She had called him to get an estimate to have some bushes cut out, so we're going to go do that. So I figured I'd make a video while I was on my way. You know, being a business owner is a lot different than working for somebody. I had a buddy call me over the weekend, and um, I knew what he wanted when he called me. But I just want to get some of y'all's input on it. This is twice he's done this now. He called me Thursday, asked how I was doing, asked how business was doing. Am I going great? You know, we're in the winter months. You know, the off weeks, you know, if I get cleanups, I go do them. Or side jobs, I do them. Uh, we're cutting twice a month. You know, here in May, we'll go back to weekly cutting. Blah, blah, blah. He's doing good and everything. I knew he wanted something, but he didn't say nothing. So, Friday he calls, and lo and behold, guess what he wanted? He wanted to borrow $100. I knew it was coming, and I said, I didn't have it. And he says, come on, you're a business owner. I said, you're right. I am a business owner. I have expenses. I have employees to pay. I have equipment I'm paying off. I have insurance that costs a lot of money to run a business. So, no, I can't have it. Maybe you need to go get a second job if you to support your spending. Oh, I just thought since we're buddies, we'll go, you give me $100. I was like, no, I, I mean, I can't lend money out. I don't give my employees pay advances. You know, come Tuesday, Wednesday, they say, hey, can I borrow 20 bucks to Friday? I said, no, you get paid on Friday or Thursday. We'll get done on Thursdays. Budget your money. You know, if you got a habit that you shouldn't be doing then kick it or find another means of money it just irritated me that oh you're a business owner you got all kinds of money well not long care business not when you're first starting out yes I'm in my third year going into this but I'm not rich I mean I'm not writing myself a thousand dollar check every week if I was I might be something different but I'm not so that just aggravated me so that's how my weekend started. Um, Saturday, I took my son to the park. We had a beautiful day doing that. Sunday, I watched the NASCAR race. And today, I went out door hanging. I did pick up a new customer. The customer called this morning, wanted me to come look at their yard. I forgot to ask him how he heard about me. Apparently, he either seen my sign on the back of my trailer or he seen me driving down the street. But I went and got him. He'll be starting March 2nd. That's Wednesday. That's the day he goes in his neighborhood. But I just wanted to give you a talk. You know, I'll call this private description office talk. I don't know if any of you guys have this problem where people call you, hey, come borrow this, come borrow this because you're a business owner. You know, I try to explain to people, you don't get rich overnight. And, you know, I have a family to support, I have a wife. That works. I have a five-year-old son that we're raising. I have bills. The wife's car we're still paying on. My truck I'm paying on. You know, my lawnmowers. You know, I didn't buy them straight out. I'm paying a monthly payment on them. So, you know, I need my money. You know, I have a life. I'm in the process of buying a house. The wife and I are buying a house. We're in the 40-day period of closing on it. You know, we'll be closing in the middle of March. So, no, if I give that $100 and something happens... I might need that hundred dollars. You know what happens if five or six or seven or eight, nine customers don't pay? Then that's a hundred dollars I could use for my son or for the company. It just aggravated me that somebody calls because you're a business owner and wants money. Man, if I ever hit the lotto, I'll guess everybody be calling me. Can I borrow money? Can I borrow money? But anyway, sorry about that. I had to wipe the sweat of my off my glasses were fogging up. I got in the carts pretty warm outside today 77 degrees here in west central florida and i got in the car and turned ac on my glasses are fogging up there but i'm on the way to look at these bushes i might add that video on 
if they don't mind me videotaping it, or I might just take the uh, GoPro and snap some still pictures and then talk over that part. But I just wanted, you know, get that off my chest. You know, people call me. He's not the first person to call me. I had somebody else call me and ask me the same thing. And he did have, I call it a slight type of emergency, and I gave him 20 bucks. But he paid me back. He paid that back to me within three days. But, you know, just aggravating to me that I chose to start my own business, go out, you know, I put upfront money on a few things, you know, I quit a $36,000 job a year guaranteed money. To run my business and get it going off the ground and hear people want to borrow money. I almost told him, well, why don't you call him next week and work for me a couple days on, on some leaf cleanups, but I knew that wouldn't happen because he works during the day. So I'm about five or ten minutes away from the uh, client here to get in the uh, estimate. I know this video is getting pretty long here. It looks like about six minutes. So I'm going to end this video here of office talk or wherever I decided to make the title I hope y'all enjoy it and if I can get the camera out and do some videoing of these bushes I'll do that or maybe I'll snap some pictures of it and drop them in at the end of this video here when I edit it y'all have a great day you guys up north I heard y'all had a pleasant weekend at least in the Ohio Valley you know Ohio Indiana Kentucky Illinois I heard y'all pretty warm I heard y'all get ready for a big rain or a snowstorm so you guys are looking for the snow plowing, plowing. I hope it works out for you. Thanks for watching. This is Carl with Carl B. Gideon and Gavino Diaz Lawn Care Service. Alrighty there. Sorry I didn't get no pictures on that estimate there. The guy was a little late with the cameras. I asked him if I could clip some pictures or a short video. He said I'd rather do not. No big deal. I gave him a price on taking those bushes out there's about 40 little bushes not a big deal i gave him a price he says well i'm, I'm getting several estimates you know and i said that's why i get free estimates i don't mind coming out give you an estimate you know if you decide to go with me I gave him a business card told him there you go he said i asked if i do trees he had these two humongous pine trees in his backyard i'm like no I don't do that kind of tree work. Light tree work, like trimming branches and palm branches, yeah, but not that tall. They were very tall, probably 60, 70 feet up in there. Referred him to a tree service that I use, Sherwood Tree Services here in St. Pete, Florida. He says, well, let me get my bushes taken care of here in about another week or so, and then I'll maybe give you a call for every guy to come out and give me an estimate on that. I said, no problem. So now I'm on my way back home. It is about 6.17. I was probably there about 15, 20 minutes. Bushes weren't that bad. They were well maintained. They just want something different. Whoever owned the house before they did had two type of bushes in. And I thought it looked nice. He thought it would look tacky. So whatever suits you, suits you, I gave him my price on cutting them out and hauling them off and he said he will get back with me if they decide to go with me he says he's gonna have back surgery in may so he needed he wanted a quote on his yard i gave him a quote on his yard he says again he's getting a few estimates i'm like i don't blame you it happens to me all the time i gave him the ideal price what most companies charge here in this area and i gave him my price and i said that's kind of in the middle you might find somebody lower might find somebody cheaper go with the company you feel like by guarantee we do the best quality work unless you hire one of these big companies but they're the most expensive and they're a lot higher than the average yard so I'm going to go home upload these to my phone I believe I put them all in one video hit auto edit let it auto edit it real quick and I'll have this up this evening Again, leave your comments about the first half of the video below or email me. I think most some of y'all have an email address or give me a call. This is Carl with Carl B. Gideon and Gabino Diaz Lawn Care Service. Have a great evening and thanks for watching.